And let me tell you, tractors have gone up and they are going up. I guarantee you the tractor you buy this year will be more this time next year. It will probably be more this time in three to four months. So all that being said, guys, a tractor search can be as easy or as complicated and exhausting as you want it to be, as you make it to be, as your budget allows it to be, okay? Um, I have met some really cool dudes talking about tractors, uh, working with uh, different manufacturers, different salesmen, different dealers. Some dealers want a deal. Some dealers don't. Some salesmen are great and friendly. Some are not. Um, I had one tractor dealer pretty much act like he could care less if I even walked in the door. Whereas it's about the dealership. It's about the brand. And that particular dealer, when I got that, when I got that, uh, it wasn't a feeling because it was a, it was very direct. Salesman's very direct, um, which I can appreciate that because I can be real direct. But I'm always friendly, and I try to be friendly, and I try to think about other person, you know, the other person, you know, be in their shoes. Um, but anyway, that that just portrayed a bad, a bad dealership experience. Okay, and so I will probably not buy from that dealer. From that one experience. Is that bad? I don't know. Impressions, you know. Your dealer is going to be who you're going to be, you know, hooked up with long after you buy the tractor. And it goes back to brand. Um, it seems like some brands do a better job standing behind their product. Tractors are made all over the world now. And the big thing now is compact tractors. Tractors are going more compact. And the big boy tractors are really going up in price. So you've got to just sit on these tractors and look at them. But, you know, the due diligence, you know, buying a tractor can be as headache, as much headache as you want, or as it can be, or it can be as easy as you want. Um, and I've found too, guys, don't take them at their first price. You ask for their best price, I promise you it won't be their best price. <laughs> It'll be their best price if you say okay and and put your, put your checkbook uh, get your checkbook out. But you ask these guys for their best price, it ain't gonna be their best price right off the bat. That's just a fact. It is a fact. Some salesmen want to work with you. Some salesmen could care less. I found that out. I've seen it. I've bugged a few salesmen um, a lot. Not bug them, but I've asked a lot of questions. I've wanted to get prices. Why do you have to bug salesmen that way? Because you can't go online and get and get a price. You go online and build a tractor. Each each brand's got a build a tractor feature. You go online and build a tractor, and guess what? That price will be three to five thousand dollars more than what that tractor will actually sell for if you go to the lot and talk to a salesman. So it's just a it can be a hassle. It really can be a hassle. Financing, man, that's a hassle too. They're all different. Each dealership, each brand offers different things. And even within the same group of dealerships, they can offer different financing terms. Some, you know, some can say, no, we don't offer zero for 72. We don't offer zero for 84. You call it a dealer an hour down the road and they say, sure, we'll offer zero for 84. Or if you'll pay 20% down, we'll offer zero for 84, no problem. The other dealer didn't offer that. They're all different. So your pricing's different. Your financing's going to be different. Of course, your product's going to be different. I found that some, some deals were better than another dealer, but it's on an older product. It's on a 2020 model that's been sitting on the lot for six months. So, of course, they're going to be able to mark that down and move it. A lot of times it's good to get the savings of a 2020 model going out. But when we're four months into the year in 2021, you really don't want to buy a summer of 2020 tractor. Uh, that's just my opinion. Um, it's been sitting out on the lot. And they don't sit these, they, you know, everybody's like, park your tractor inside. Sure, you're going to park your tractor inside if you can. But it sits on the lot for who knows how long, out in the, out in the weather. 
Another thing, this is this is something real pet peeve of mine, guys. I used to sell Kubota tractors. Birds like to poop on tractor seats. It's inevitable. As a salesman, keeping your tractor seats clean and your steering wheels clean of bird poop, that's just a nice little touch that you can do. Um, I drove an hour to look at a couple of models at one particular dealer. Both tractors were completely covered in chicken poop. I'm sorry, not chicken poop. <laughs> I don't think it was chickens. Uh, it was bird poop. Um, both tractors. I'm talking the backrest had it going down, the big stream going down the backrest, and the seat was just covered two or three bombs. The, hand, the steering wheel had bombs on it. So um, I had some paper towels and some cleaner in the in the truck, and I, you know, I I got it out and cleaned the seats. Um, I guess I'm not country enough. I don't like to sit in a big old pile of bird poop. But no, I didn't want to sit in bird poop to try that tractor out. Here's another thing: those two tractors I went to look at, they had big implements hooked up to them. One had a big finish mower, not a finish mower, it was a disc mower. Yeah, it was a disc mower. The other one was in the back and hadn't even been uh, uh, put out on the lot yet to try and had stuff in front of it. So I couldn't drive them. I couldn't try them out. Kind of a bummer when you can't try out a tractor, especially when you when you call and let them know you're coming and they don't even clean the bird poop off the seats. I mean, you know, one spot or two, you know, you can always scoot it over or just knock it off with your hand. But these seats were covered. I doubt anybody's been sitting on these tractors for a while. And this was the dealer that had the 2020 models. So little things, guys, little things that can add up.